These images are generated by this new AI model, which is free of cost and you can generate unlimited images and it's also open source. By the end of the video, you'll also be able to generate images quickly and unlimited, no fees, no restriction. Even if you don't have high-end GPU, I'll tell you a way how you can still run it locally on your PC if you don't have high GPU. So this is the video, all you need to get it started with this new model, I'm Adit, and you're watching skill curve so first let's talk about what is this model so this model is called high dream i1 it's an open source image generative foundation model which has 17 billion parameters that's why it's super fast like you can generate quality images within second it has three basic uh, versions full dev fast just like flux so what we'll do in this video we'll first generate a lot of images uh, different prompts different uh, ways to generate images then we will compare it with the latest models then i'll teach you a way how you can install this model on local machine with the help of comfy ui it's super interesting okay now it's time to check all the prompts how this new model reacts to all the prompts i'm going to talk about is weird and wild prompts so first prompt i gave it a cup of coffee that contains a whole universe inside it and look at this image i've never expected someone to be this good not only this i compared this with the same prompt to the flux model which is also very good open source model and the flux model gave this now you can give your own opinion on which is good and which is bad another prompt i gave was a snail carrying a futuristic cyber city on its cell and you can see the image the shell is looking so real like the snail itself looking the texture of snail is i'm literally amazed how someone can make this model so i'm literally amazed by the speed of this model the generation speed is really good and i'm when i'm saying good it's really good another prompt i gave a street where gravity works sideways and cars drive up walls and you can see an image like inception movie you can see everything is going downwards and the gravity works sideways and car give up or drive up on walls and the image is not that realistic but it's also okay for someone model which has 17 billion parameters another uh, wild prompt i gave is a vending machine that dispenses emotion instead of snacks and this image is okay not very much realistic not very much uh, great but it's okay to use somewhere you want to use so this was some weird and wild um, captions for an image now let's talk about more prompts another prompt i gave which category was like worlds and landscape in this category i gave a lost city floating in the cloud with waterfall pouring into the sky and the, you can see the image so i don't thought of that a lost city floating in this cloud would look this good in a model like 17 million parameters which is not a big model by the way but it's absolutely good another prompt i gave was a post apocalyptic earth reclaimed by nature skyscrapers covered in vines and trees and you can see this entire buildings are covered with trees and i think i think i think this is one of the finest generation i got from this model right now another thing i used is an alien desert at dusk with two suns at the horizon of the crystal mountains and look at this image it's really realistic i was not expecting this to be this realistic and this image is by generated by the fastest model of there so yeah it's quality may be a little trade-off but you can see even in the fastest model you can get this level of quality and i'm amazed another gave is an underwater library lit by glowing jellyfish with a book floating in zero gravity and this uh, this image is kind of cartoonish where you can see the different jellyfishes and at the same time the books are floating uh, with the zero gravity so it's like books are flying but inside of water and i'm i'm okay with this prompt so now the category is characters and creatures so one so first prompt i gave is a robotic uh, fox glowing eyes with a holographic tail and a forest at night and the image is pretty good i'm literally amazed look and see the image the tail and the neck side of the beard side of the fox is glowing with the holographic blue color and the rest of the fox is orange and the, you can see the background on the jungle is also looking very realistic it's night and a little a little blue side which makes it even better i am impressed by the grass too the grass and the stone inside it it's looking good so another prompt i gave is a medieval knight with wings made of fire flying over a volcanic battlefield okay i'm really impressed by this prompt look at this the wings of the red color wings and the sabers which are quite burning with the red color and the rest of is like a very silver color and you can see okay i'm literally i'm literally i don't have any words to say the volcanoes are burning and and you can see that there's so many soldiers fighting it and the main soldier which is like our character 
and it's it's floating in the sky. I'm impressed by this prawn, by the way. And this prawn is so good. Look at this. The child is dreaming of galaxies and dragons. You can see this green color dragon, which is also a little cartoonish. So you can use these images, by the way, uh, if you want to make uh, videos of kids' cartoons. So this is, this is going to work in that way. Another prompt I gave, um, a punk rocket mermaid with an electric guitar, fins and neon hair performing underwater. The blue color and pink color here are looking so real and the guitar with a pink neon light. Uh, I'm really impressed, especially the bubbles. The bubbles are looking also very real. Okay, now time for an abstract and conceptual prompts, which are a little hard for any model to make. And let's see how this high dream model reacts here. So I gave a prompt of a concept of time visualized as endless spiral of clocks in space. Okay, this prompt is a little futuristic and little concept and I'm really impressed the clocks are literally in the spiral way and it's it's denoting the time travel. I'm, I'm really impressed. I give it a very well rating. Another prompt I give a human mind as a garden with thoughts glowing as flowers and flying like butterflies. This prompt is also very imaginary and let's see how this model reacts. So as far as we come, I realized high dream model is good. Even you use fast, dev or full model, all model are so good when it comes to making imaginary generation. Okay, so another prompt I gave which is very important if you make some content like that or maybe some blog post. So a duality of nature split image one side cybernetic jungle other side mechanical city taken over by plants and it did really well. Look at this. On the other side it's a robotic you know building skyscrapers and it's covered with grass and trees. On the right side you can see a skyscrapers which are not covered and like sunlight and stuff. Okay, time for some stylish concept prompts which are also important. So another prompt I gave is a futuristic samurai standing on skyscraper in Tokyo, neon lights reflecting off their chrome armor, vaporwave style. Look at the reflection on his armor, the buildings and the lights of the billboards are reflecting on the armor which make it even better. So another prompt I gave is painting of an astronaut playing chess on the moon. So another prompt I gave which is a final prompt, a magical forest where the trees are made of stained glass, light beams pass through creating rainbow patterns. Let's explore how and where you can use this model. First check their official github repository, the link is in the description. They have three models which is full model that delivers the highest quality output but requires more time per image. It's recommended to use 50 minimum inference steps while generating this model. Another model is dev model which is a little fast but medium at some quality and fast model optimized for speed offering a quickest output with the lowest quality among the models. Now note that all these models demand high Nvidia GPU for the local execution. So if you don't have one, you can access a hosted version of Hugging Face or this space runs the dev model which is of course some trade off for quality but you can simply enter a prompt, you can choose your aspect ratio and click and generate button and you'll get the output. Now be aware that official unquantized versions require massive amount of VRAM like 60 GB in some cases. Fortunately community members have released some quantized version. One popular fork is you can see a part in the description which is like model to 4 bit precision reducing the VRAM needs down to the around 16 GB. This variant also provides a user friendly interface appearing you from direct code interaction but also lack like some fine-tuning options like CFG scale or custom step counts. Now let's talk about how you can install this into the comfy UI. What you need to do is first install the flash attention. You can visit the flash attention github page where pre-built window wheels are available. Navigate to the files tab to find the correct wheel matching your python, torch and cuda version. In your comfy directory locate the python embedded folder and open a command prompt type cmd in the address bar. You can run python.exe dash dash version to check the python's version same with nvcc hyphen hyphen version to see cuda's version another you can install is like python.exe hyphen mpip list to confirm your pytorch version now once you have identified your matching wheel cuda and torch version you can download it copy its path in the same command prompt execute the same now this will install flash attention. Now thing is still in python embedded folder run the provided pip command to install accelerate. If you have already it, this step is not for you. Now it's time to launch comfy UI. Go to the manager and custom node manager. Search for hydream. It does not appear. Then you can install the same node with the help of github URL. Paste the repository URL and confirm installation. Once installation is finished, you can restart your comfy UI and that's it. All the dependencies are installed. If you encounter any module not found error, which is Triton, reopen your command prompt in Python embedded folder and execute pip install command for Triton for Windows. Open the comfy UI, now drag and drop the workflow, which is a link in the description. After dragging it, you can now select a model, fast, dev, full, enter your prompt, resolution and that's it. You can now generate 
all the model images uncensoredly free of cost on your local machine if you like this video just simply click on like button share it and for more such cutting edge tutorial latest technologies videos every day just subscribe the channel